Soccer fans, it's game on. Glenn Davis here for 790 The Sports Animal, Nugent.com, and www.glendavissoccer.com. Now down here in Houston, Texas, the big issue is the stadium issue for the Houston Dynamo. They have again caught lightning in a bottle. They've got Oscar De La Hoya as a charismatic owner now, along with Brenner International to partner up with AEG in this market. April 1st is supposedly the stadium deadline, and all fans down here are hoping that this stadium will occur east of Minute Maid Park off of downtown Houston. Now in this city, which is the gateway to South America, Central America, and Mexico, this stadium needs to be in downtown Houston. If it doesn't go there, Pearland and Sugarland outlying areas have been mentioned. But the bottom line is this, this city and this team deserve a stadium. Reason being, the amount of people affected by soccer, the connection with the diversity of fans, and don't forget this, more private money will go into this stadium than any stadium prior down here, including Reliance Stadium, the home of the Houston in Texans, Minute Maid Park, the home of the Houston Astros, and the Toyota Center, the home of the Houston Rockets. All fans have their fingers crossed for a new stadium for the Houston Dynamo. If so, this market could be the leading soccer market in the country when it comes to Major League Soccer. And by the way, teams like Boca Juniors, River Plate, and the top teams from Brazil like Sao Paulo certainly would be making this a destination to come play games. All right, we move on. This past Wednesday, the Texas Pro Soccer Festival, Brian Ching and Tyrone Marshall uh, sort of kept that heated rivalry they have going. Brian Ching is not a guy that mentions other players normally, but he certainly has taken exception in the past with Tyrone Marshall, who's laid some heavy hits on the Dynamo star striker. It happened again this past Wednesday in a 4-3 Dynamo win over Toronto in an exhibition game in San Antonio, Texas. The two got a little bit heated. In the end, Ching had two goals. By the way, the Texas Pro Soccer Festival, some of the teams involved, DC United, Toronto, Chivas USA, and the Dynamo, have been uh, pretty critical about the fields down there. And then I would say, why didn't somebody from the organization maybe check out the standards of the fields if in fact they have not been up to par? All right, we move on with one more topic. And that topic is an email. The email, please. All right, this email comes from Jeremy, and Jeremy is quoted here. I hope for the sake of defenders everywhere that Carlos Ruiz gets a few goals in MLS this year. If he doesn't score much, the pressure is going to cause his diving to increase tenfold. He'll end up getting ninja kicked in the arm again, and of course, he will grab his face. Jeremy. Well, Jeremy's email is a good one. Bottom line is Carlos Ruiz is happy to be back in Los Angeles. He's going to have David Beckham as a provider, and if you've been watching these games coming from Asia, you will understand that I think it's going to be a big year for David Beckham. Bottom line is Carlos Ruiz is going to need to score goals, and I have a feeling he may pick a few off this year. All right, 790thesportsanimal.com for more soccer talk this Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. Again, it's 790thesportsanimal.com, and you can pick it up on the Internet Highway there as well. Visit www.glendavissoccer.com. This has been a Nugent.com soccer update.